this um, this story about uh, how the, the chemist in our pro life group uh, he lives in an outstation. He helps save women from uh, getting abortions. This woman, they come to him asking him for some drugs they can take that can help to take out their pregnancies. And he has he enlightens them that on the mercy of the unborn child, many of them do not they do not know that it's actually a human being that is inside them. So he enlightens them. Some of them, after enlightening them, they say, well, even if it's a human being and they keep the baby, who is going to take care of the baby? And they say that they have their challenges and what actually got them involved in a sexual relationship is because of poverty, they are looking for, they need uh, something to take care of themselves and that's why they got involved in a sexual relationship. And now they're pregnant and if they keep the baby, how are they going to take care of the baby? It's double challenge for them. So this chemist, according to him, he said he was able to encourage some of them not to abort the babies uh, through the drugs. And those drugs have side effects. The side effects are, uh, the side effects is, is the abortion. These are the drugs that those people go to buy from chemists. And apart from this chemist, they go to other chemists as well. So this is what happens in Nigeria. Some people go to doctors, some go to chemists to buy those drugs they know that the side effects are abortion and uh, sometimes they even explain to the chemists to give them the drugs that can cause abortion or miscarriage and that's what they do uh, this chemist has been able to save many babies according to him from being aborted he's a great pro-lifer thank you okay.